Hi all, this is Andy Sutherland from the University of Virginia, and for this week's Neurology Minute, I've just been speaking with Roland Feigl from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine about his paper, Novel Score for Stratifying Risk of Critical Care Needs in Intracerebral Hemorrhage Patients. Roland, for the Neurology Minute, tell our listeners about this new risk prediction tool for patients with spontaneous intracerebral hemorrhage and how it can help determine critical care needs in clinical practice. Yeah, so, so in this study, we developed and validated a clinical risk prediction score to identify patients with spontaneous intracerebral hemorrhage who are at low risk of requiring critical care interventions in ICU care. We developed the score in a clinical cohort of ICH patients at Johns Hopkins, 451 patients, but we also externally validate the score in a cohort of ICH patients from a different institution. Um, the score is called the intrinsic score and utilizes information on admission blood pressure, GCS, ICH volume, and IVH, and ranges from zero to nine, higher scores or higher score values indicating higher risk of requiring critical care intervention. And so the score performed quite well in internal and external validation and identified ICH patients who did not require ICU care with, with fairly high accuracy. Great, Roland. Well, thank you again for sharing this, and I'll encourage our listeners to seek out the full podcast as well as the manuscript uh, in the journal Neurology. Again, novel score for stratifying risk of critical care needs in intracerebral hemorrhage patients and how you might use tools such as this to help take better care of your patients. Roland, thanks again for joining us for the Neurology Minute. Yeah, thank you.